Hey you guys, so this is What's Good for Heartbreak High. Now this is a show that is streaming on Netflix. The first season came out in 2022. The second season came out very recently and honestly that's why I started watching. Uh, I do not know how this show got off my radar. I got went on Netflix, you know, one day last week. It came up as recommended before the second season came out and I was like, you know what? Let's give her a watch. <laughs> Let's see how this show is, uh, what's kind of going on, because I know sometimes with shows like this where it's based in high school, it's the kind of coming of age story topics that maybe you've seen in other shows, you wonder, you know, will it be a hit or will it be a miss? Because sometimes that's just what happens given the story, the characters, maybe the topics, are they repetitive? Here, I think, it's just a very good mixture overall. There are characters that I feel <sighs> it, there's a good variety. And what I mean by that is to me, there's just a good diversity when you are handling topics like disability, um, sexuality, you know, things like that, where it's just a good cast of characters and they have very unique personalities. As well as the story, I think, is done very well. You know, you're not just focusing on the students. You're also looking into the teachers and what they're kind of having to deal with in regards to the students. There is some mature material in here, so keep that in mind if you want to watch the show or if you feel like, hey, maybe I can't watch the show because they do cover different topics where you know, they can get, I don't want to say in depth, but since they do talk about sexuality, they do talk about some different things, especially, um, you know, some of the things that happen to some of the characters. I don't want to spoil it, but if that's something that maybe you can't handle, just again, keep that in mind. But I think this show does a very good job of mixing those kind of comedic moments with the serious ones. Again, since they have the, you know, some of these topics that they talk about that I think a lot of people are very aware of, they do a very good job of, hey, we're going to take our time. This is a serious moment, but they also, but you also come to know as time goes on, like, oh, I know something fun will happen soon. You know, it, 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 it knows when to have fun, make a joke, but then also knows like, hey, you know, a character is going through something or we're at this part of the story where, you know, we really want to take our time, kind of talk through it. And it's also just done well, I think, by the actors themselves and who they play with in this show. I will also say for myself when it comes to, shows just in general. Why I also like this show, one, I do enjoy a good Australian program, do not get me wrong, but they do shoot in Australia as well. So to me, you have kind of that sense of kind of authenticity. I know sometimes when it comes to a show, you're not able to do it for, you know, cost and everything else involved, but here they really, they, at least with the first season when I was reading on it, they shot in Australia and did all that. So you get a sense of the lingo, the environment, t things that are going on within the environment. And I think that's something that adds to the story as well. As well as, fun fact, when I was looking into all this, it's actually a reboot of, you know, there was original Heartbreak High that came out in the 90s. And when I was looking into that, some of the characters within the one that you can stream on Netflix <laughs> that you know that's recent, you have characters that reprise their role from the original Heartbreak High. So now a part of me wants to know, you know, I would kind of want to watch the original one to see, one, if I can point out the characters, two, How's it, you know, is it different? Like what, what are we covering? What's going on? I know it probably will be because it was in the nineties and different topics are just discussed very differently, but I'm now very curious, but I don't know if I'll be able to find it. Maybe I can find clips on YouTube, but the more, you know, 
but the, I do very much recommend this show. I think it's a hoot and a half. I enjoy a lot of the characters, and I think, you know, a lot of people have been talking about it as well, to where, you know, I just kind of want to spread, <laughs> spread it and have other people enjoy it, because maybe they would as well. So if you have watched the show, feel free to leave your thoughts down below, and I will talk to you later. Bye.